I'm Jason Gallagher from Haldeman County Fire Department. Uh, I'm here looking at our brand new Pierce aerial that uh, will be in service shortly at our Haldeman County Fire Department by approximately June of this year. Um, we went with the Pierce 107 foot aerial apparatus because of our, it's going into one of our more urban centers that has a lot of residential area and a lot of cul-de-sacs and um, turnabouts which with our other platforms it's a little bit difficult to maneuver around um, the subdivisions and the different communities so we went with a single axle um, aerial device to be put in that uh, it's actually going into a brand new station a paramedic fire station so we have a little bit of a challenge with um, new developments and um, some apartment buildings being built in our, our areas and we, we do currently have aerial trucks in service however we needed something that was going to meet our needs but also a little bit more compact to be able to um, provide the best service for um, our fire department so the station it'll be going into they um, respond to about 300 calls per year um, they're one of our busier busier stations but what this aerial will also do is it'll be an assist and support truck for other station responses so if we get a, uh, a fire in another district then the aerial device will um, respond and add a, as a support it'll also be used as a writ truck in certain situations as well so we wanted something again that was compact but uh, met our needs we like with the pierce pierce apparatus the the amount of room that's in in the in the back of the truck for when the firefighters are packing up and it has the um, some compartments for storage and easy access to the engine compartment and whatnot and also for mounting uh, we tend to mount our flashlights and um, all our radios so it, having that uh, metal um, rack there works out very well and the seats are seats are comfortable um, we use a Scott uh, air pack and uh, AP 75 4500 and they fit into the the racking perfectly so um, we went with um, it's they've, it's got a good HEPA filter system in it as well which is uh, good for um, situations with carcinogenics these days with firefighters so safety is one of our number one priorities so um, we like the fact that with, with the stabilization jacks, there's three, and our our other aerial devices have four, but there, there's two on the sides. It's short jacked right now, but it does obviously come out, But uh, and then there's a, a main jack that comes out on the bottom as well. So um, all the, all the the obviously all the regular gauges that uh, any of the pumps would have, we, we incorporate that um, to the device. So. Um, one of the, the features we like with, with the Pierce apparatus is they take the time to, to think about the, the tactical part of the truck getting up into different areas. So with the steps and whatnot, a lot, most fire trucks have them, but a, a lot of the uh, extra engineering just for the little um, features on the trucks. So our shorter firefighters can get to where they need to be. So um, lots of large cabinetry, adjustable as well. Um, so with our apparatus, we, we carry everything that the NFPA standards require us to carry. We'll have some uh, Hearst equipment on the truck as well. And um, it'll go, like I said, it goes into the station in our Caledonia station, which covers one of the major highways uh, in our districts. So um, it'll be used quite a bit for that type of, uh, that type of response. So, and again, even with the, with the steps, very ergonomic and you can easily climb, climb up onto the truck and get uh, up to the control panel and uh, using the, the 170 foot ladder and it is very um, proactive. We have a good control box here at the back where you can set your stabilizers and um, with the screen up at, on, on the ladder itself, um, it allows you to, when you're placing your apparatus and if it's not um, leveling properly, you're able to work with, with the instruments to ensure you're within um, the apparatus's workable, I guess, 
schematics to get it so you know that you're in the perfect thing for the aerial device to work. So it comes obviously with all the NFPA ladders that are required to come with, with the aerial devices and some more storage in the back as well. Um, some, some hand tools that we are required to use and again, more controls for the stabilization, stabilization jacks. Um, we, again, lots of, lots of uh, cupboard space for, for our um, equipment that we're, we're putting into this apparatus and lots of storage for, for air bottles as well. So um, we, we don't have the luxury of some larger departments that have specific trucks that can carry numerous air bottles to the scene. So we always make sure that we have um, a good amount of storage on site. So, and with, with this truck, with there being so much storage, that's one of the things that attracted us to this, this device being compact for our larger urban center, but also having the storage for a lot of the equipment that we're carrying. So, um, as I explained, there is, there is a lot of room in the, in the back with, um, for the firefighters when they're, they're getting ready for the fires. So, but one of the things we also like about the, the officers is how much room is in the front for the officer. Um, back when I was on the apparatus, it almost seems like the officer was kind of compact in the front of the unit and um, Pierce has got a great design in regards to lots of leg space, but also being able to um, access a lot of the the functions that are that are in the cab of the truck. Again, lots of mounting space for GPS, laptops, that sort of thing, as well as the center console can be used to mount equipment as well, which we do take advantage of that. Um, it's a very user-friendly truck for, for driving. Um, the, the driver has a good view because of the, si the size of the area where the captain's sitting, so he's not kind of in the way, I guess, of the um, aerial operator when he's driving the vehicle and then the driver himself has a lot lot of technology available to him or her um, with the heads-up display and whatnot that's in the cab of the truck. So we're excited Haldeman County to get this uh, aerial device in this service and um, we're very pleased um, with how the truck turned out and we're very pleased that it the ability to have it shown here at FDIC and I hope everyone has a, a great show and be sur sure to stop by the Pierce booth and look at all their quality apparatus and hopefully one of these will be in your future.